So there are some content creators out there where they want to make their clicks and money from controversy, from stirring up things, from being a Christian TMZ. You end up becoming a thumb warrior for Christ um, where you get to you get to popping off in the comment section. You got to be careful. I'm not saying what they did was wrong. You know what I'm saying? But let's talk about calling out other Christians, right? Um, we're we're gonna stay in the lane of music industry, right? Because that's kind of where we are. Where we are. Um, do you first feel like it's okay for us to see something of which that we feel like does not line up with Scripture, and therefore we call people out on it? Like, is, like do you do you even feel like that's an okay thing to do, or should we not ever call anybody out? I like this topic because a lot of things have has happened in the past couple months with certain people that were uh, with a little bit of power that they had in the music industry and they did um, because mm. of certain things. And I don't think it was a lack of faith. It's a way of Christians, how they approached them. It's like, how do you approach a person? How do you approach another Christian or how do you approach a non-Christian, a person that does not believe, you know? When yeah. are we allowed to to say things or allowed to speak up like, hey, brother or hey, sister, like, um, I am I may not agree with you on mm -hmm. this one. You know, when is the right time? So, like, lately, I, I say yes to a certain extent. It is, mm -hmm. right, holding each other accountable. But there's a line. Right. There, there yeah. are. Um, we're not Jesus. Jesus. Jesus was the only one that can say the most blunt, like truth right there in front of your face. Um, yes, sir. We are. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we the other ones on the other side. <laughs> so we got to take <laughs> a couple more steps to get to that perfect sentence to change somebody's life. Um, but we have to uh, not just use this or this. We have to allow the, the spirit to be within us, too. Yeah able to to do that so th there are steps right where it gets to that point um so if that makes if that answers your question it's like a yeah. yes and a, and a yeah yes and no it's, it's it's how you how you come about it so um if you guys haven't been uh already to our youtube make sure that you guys subscribe subscribe to our youtube um but the reason why i was asking that too is now it, it's not a um it's not a thing that as far as Oxen Brand Music is concerned, we're not we're not in there. Okay, so there are some content creators out there where they want to make their clicks and money from controversy, from stirring up things, from being a Christian TMZ. Okay, um, is is kind of a way to put it. Um, that is that is not what we want to do. That is not our hearts by any means. However. And I think this is where the the um, you know yes, but there's that nuance um, is it's about how you go about it. Now, obviously, the hope is that you can go direct to the person. Nine times out of ten, especially if it's you know a, a bigger name, they're not reachable, right? If you don't live in the area, they're not reachable. Okay. So sometimes you could think, okay, well now I'm not going to say anything at all, right? Or and this is kind of what today's video was talking about, um, was you end up becoming a thumb warrior for Christ um, where you get, to, you get to popping off in the comment section and speaking in ways of which you would never speak to them in person. Okay? Mm. That is not what we're saying to do. I feel like that's what we agree on of like, that's not a healthy way of saying it um, mm -hmm. and doing it. However, I think there should be some space too where I can, like you said, agree to disagree, or at least call out and say, hey, I just don't agree with this. Like recently here, okay, we'll just kind of talk about it. Recently, the post that we put out today um, was Tadashi had posted something on his IG where there was a, uh, it was like a comedian um, that he was, it was in his IG uh, reel, he was reacting to it, um, and the jokes itself wasn't necessarily funny. I, you know, I, well, to me, I, I didn't really care one way or the other. Um, but where the backlash, I should say, uh, was the, the person that he had posted 
and I'm, I feel like it's safe to assume, but I'm going to say I assume is from the alphabet community and was dressed, a male was dressed as a female um, as in there. So for me and my take on it was it, it's not a salvation issue, but it was a wisdom issue. I felt like, is this necessarily wise or healthy? Because it could spark controversy. Therefore, people will, you'll have some people's attention, but I don't necessarily know if that was um, a good, healthy way of doing it. So what are your thoughts, bro, when not just Tadashi, but anybody purposely tries to push buttons to, to get people riled up to, and I'm not saying this is what Tadashi did, but to get, to get more views and people's eyes on them? Um. <laughs> well, it's so funny because I, I don't follow him, but that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I think I think certain people do do it to troll. Mm. Um, maybe because they haven't released a lot of music that has been hitting for them, so they got to do certain things to, you know, get their names out again. Um. It's the same instance like with uh with Maverick City, something like that. Okay. Um, what's his name? Dante. Dante, yep. Um, I like Dante. But like I said, there are certain people when you're when you're when you're in this industry and you're known very powerful, you are known yeah. for this this group of, of, of team members who it's a very sensitive place, okay? Like, you got to be careful. I'm not saying what they did was wrong. You know what I'm saying? But you're representing something, right, that is much bigger than yourself. Yeah. So, like, how can I say this? Like, okay, like, say, for instance, you and your, your friends, like, they can have a separate account. It could be, like, a spam account. Okay, let it all out in, in that account. So no one, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm just I'm just saying because you have this this platform that's huge, like like and you're not it's you're not a uh, little Uzi Vert or anybody, you know what I'm saying, who could just drop that and it'll be it'd be fine. Yeah, because the fans that's what they represent. So yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. You got it's different fans, I agree. Yeah, yeah. But this is this is filtered. So you gotta be careful what you put. On, on that page, what your business is, who you represent as a person. Um, so with Tadashi, is, is that his name? Yeah. Uh, I think that what the wisdom, like you said, what, what he did, what his discernment was, was a, like, it was his choice, but that may not have been the best timing to do all that should have kept it to herself, should have kept it within the family, maybe didn't have to post that. But like I said, that's a decision that he has to make. Yeah. It's a decision that he's a grown man. I can't tell what a grown man is. That's what my my dad taught me. I'm, I'm a very old school person. So it's like, hey, you're going you're gonna to do what you, what you want to do. Yeah. But just know that it, it, it comes with a cost. And yeah. um, so that's that's basically what I can say on that. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah, uh, uh, Chiwaz says uh, internet got no delete button. Um, Facts. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. yeah. And if you did, somebody probably recorded it already before before you took it off. So he probably would have been canceled because he's he's powerful in the like that's like Dante almost got. I mean, did he get canceled? He probably did. Uh, more more or less, but that's also because there was a lot of other things that went to it. So. The, yeah. So, so just for the audience uh, in here, and, and if you again, if you check the video um, that we posted today, it'll give more full thoughts. Okay. So we're we're not saying Tadashi is jumping off the deep end or what. Like that's 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 a whole different conversation. So if you guys uh, do kind of follow along and you know a little bit of the Dante story and all that, I don't want you. Um, those are not the same cases. Okay. So so if anybody mm -hmm. who knows anything's going on, they're they're not. They're not blurring together by by any okay. means. I just I want to I want to preface that because again, we're not trying to be no Christian TMZ here, right? We're not trying to stir up, yeah, you know, yeah. anything. <laughs> but, yeah. but but we want to have healthy conversations because I think I think of it like a like a family dynamic. If my wife and I 
never ever had any kind of disagreements or arguments in front of our children in a healthy manner with some kind of conflict resolution or just even showing, hey, this is what you do when you're getting to a boiling point and you have to learn how to stop, right? Or Mm -hmm. if one of you are wrong in front of the kids, then you need to also make it right in front of the kids, right? Mm Because it's it's not a good look if I – you know, argue with my wife, go off on her, whatever the case may be, and uh, um, and then turn around and apologize to her and be all nice or whatever on the, uh, you know, uh, behind my children versus in front of them, because then all they're left was with that impression of this is how you guys actually really are, right? Yep. So, I think it's okay and healthy for Christians to have these kind of controversial dialogues, but like you said earlier. It's how you go about them. Just like Sage said, maybe you go in private. It's not necessarily that you need to go do in the comment section. Um, or ultimately, and this is where most people always forget slash mess up, which kind of sucks because I do the same thing too. So as a Christian, I should know better. First, pray for them. Just first, lift them up in prayer. That's the best thing. Yeah, because... You may not be the person to interact, but maybe your prayers ends up allowing their heart to be prepped for somebody else who's in their circle who actually has a relationship with them, and therefore um, mm-hmm. the Lord can work between that. So um, it's, it's a it's a powerful thing. Prayer, like the the incident that just happened with the the Bills player, and yeah, what changed in the NFL? Like prayers, prayers. <laughs> they work when you pray to the right God. So, um, yeah. and so I, I, I think that's that's the biggest thing. I've always told people like, "What do you do, uh, Jay? Like, what are you doing?" This I'm like, bro, I, I just I pray because I don't know the person, I don't have his contact number, so all I can do is pray. Hey, if you liked any of this content and you found some value in it, make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course, share it. Also, if you're interested in some more, go ahead and check out these videos. Till next time, grace and peace. Adios.